What up, everybody? Welcome to uh, another video from PD Found Treasures. Uh, we're going to be going over some of the stuff we sold on eBay starting back from October 1st until early this month. Actually, up until today. Um, but before we do that, I know it's been a while since we've filmed a video. We've both been really busy. Uh, my job has been keeping me very busy. I've doing, been napping. Yeah. I've been doing six 12 hour days most of the time, so. <laughs> busy as all get out and then these last few days you can probably hear it in my voice i've been fighting a cold over the last couple days so today's been one of the days where i finally felt good enough to actually get up and do something um you can ask this guy i literally spent the last couple days just laying around taking medication just trying to feel better um with that being said we are going to be working on some stuff we got more videos coming out um we got an unboxing video coming out sometime this month with probably within a couple about 10 days to two weeks probably um so we're going to be doing an unboxing, and it's just more stuff for us to flip on eBay, but we tried out a certain website, and we'll get more into that later. Um, and then, what else are we trying to do? We did the, um, what do you call that? We bought all the clothes. And yeah, we did that one, didn't we? No. Well, no, that's because the GoPro messed up on us, and we weren't able to film that, which really bothered me, because we bought liquidation pallets. So yeah. we started getting into that, and hopefully we'll be able to document it and film it for you guys. Um, and we're looking into storage units again, so there might be a storage unit coming up in the near future. Uh, that one Daniel will probably be doing mostly by himself because I'll probably be stuck at work if we do win it. Um, so hopefully that one will be coming out soon. And then hopefully, because here in Southern California, the weather's still beautiful, Daniel can do some more yard sailing if I'm not off on a Saturday. and We can get some footage of that for you guys because we've been sorely lacking in the video department lately um i can't even remember the last video we posted yeah how long ago was that yeah i don't remember all right well <clears throat> with that being said excuse me we're gonna move on to the first item and this one actually just sold a few minutes ago actually um this is the blaze and the monster machines tune up and jump garage um i bought this at did we get them at ross, ross yeah yeah this was the retail arbitrage from last year actually so this one sat around for a while um and it sold actually for the asking price you see up there 30 bucks plus i think it was close to 10 for shipping so it's that one seven was it seven it came out yeah. to like over it said 40 dollars and change is what i got on my paypal yeah but it was only seven okay it's california that's why yeah so that one just like i said a couple minutes ago literally um when we were unloading our newest haul of our retail arbitrage from ross uh the next item um this one is a Easton fast pitch softball bat. Um, this one had a weird handle on it that the knob actually on the handle shifted. I don't know if it was to like give you more of a better swing, more compact swing. Uh, this one I picked up for ten bucks at a thrift store down near San Diego. Yeah. No, it was no. Um, Oxnard. 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 Um, and that one sold. I believe I took a best offer of thirty on that one. Um, a neat trick that Daniel actually showed me is to use the uh, Mr. Clean uh, sponge eraser things. Yeah, they clean the bats. They clean the bats really well. So if you're going to get into bats, uh, I recommend picking up some of those. And then look for Easton, DeMarini, Combat. Um, there was another one. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, Maracucci is a good one. Um, so those are just a few brands to look for. They'll flip for a pretty decent amount. Uh, this one was Daniel's. <clears throat> this one I got from uh, another fellow. Uh, she's a picker. Actually, she's a estate sale lady. Um, ran into her yard sale one day, and uh, she gave me this for five bucks. What I saw for? It says thirty on there, but yeah, yeah. No, I think I just sold it for twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah, it's the Hawaiian version of Cabbage Patch. The face is made out of wood. So what? yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, the face was made out of like wood. So it came with its, uh, all its things like a Cabbage Patch kit, but that's the Hawaiian way they made them. So that's crazy. Learn something new every day. This one I picked up at a Goodwill here in um, Victorville. And it is a Morona 1200A sleep machine. It basically it makes waterfall and rain sounds. Um, it's vintage. I picked that one up. I think it was like eight or nine bucks I picked that up for and I believe it sold for the full asking price of 40 actually yeah I don't remember accepting an offer on it I'm pretty sure it sold for the full asking price of 40 uh, that one took a couple of months but it did sell uh, well, where are we at? 
This one I thought was really cool. I just wanted to throw it in there. Um, this this one was, <laughs> this one was uh, this one was kind of a headache. <clears throat> um, a lady bought it for me. She wanted to buy it because her husband worked for dairy uh, dryers dryers um, for thirty years. So she wanted this jar, and what <clears throat> happened is it came back to me, and I was wondering what happened. Why did it come back? And I found out huh. that she never changed her address on eBay. So it came back to me, and then I shipped it back to her again. We had to cancel the order, and then she reordered it. So she got it. She loved her jar. <laughs> well, as long as she got it. Yeah. Uh, this is something I picked up at a yard sale. Um, I actually bought three different games from a lady. This is me and my Katamari for the Sony PSP, the PlayStation Portable. Um, I bought three games off this lady for five bucks, and I also got two old Nintendo cheat book games from her as well. You can see that on the YouTube video. There's a YouTube video. Yeah, well. that one is out on the video. I forgot. He didn't want to go to the garage, so I had to I, go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I was sitting in the car. Watch the video. I wasn't even going to go up there. And then he kept waving me up there, so. Anyway, I bought this one. It actually sold for the $15 asking price on that one, um, which got me, you know, I made a profit off anything else I bought at that yard sale. So, I'm already up probably about eight dollars from that yard sale after fees, I would think. Yeah. Here's some uh, Chuck Taylors. Um, these were on a uh, consignment <clears throat> from a friend that I have. She had me come over to her house, and she had some stuff that she wanted me to sell. I got thirty for them. I, what was it thirty? It says thirty-five up there. Yeah, I got thirty for them. So I took my cut, and eBay took their cut. So. And she got what was left over. Yep. 20 bucks. Okay, this next item, um, you can actually check it out because the video is up on YouTube for this item. Uh, we went to this guy's yard sale and we got a whole bunch of stuff for real cheap from this guy. Um, I got two old yearbooks from like 1939, 1940. I sold one of those for 30 bucks, so right there I already was in the profit on that one. Um, with this one, I ended up getting this game and I think there was like 15 more games that he threw in for like eight bucks or something like five yeah. bucks it was five bucks because he wanted eight originally and then i wasn't sure and he's like oh i'll just take five bucks for all of them so i put this one up for 20 it's burger time from the coleco vision from back in 1985 or no 84 um and i actually ended up taking an 18 dollar offer on that one so i basically got 20 dollars shipped out of that one because i did it oh no actually i did 18 yeah, and then it was free shipping but it was only two bucks to ship it so i basically made about 15 on top of like I already have made 30 on the other sale, so I'm already way over on that one. And I still have most of the stuff left from that yard sale. A couple beer yeah. signs. and. Did you you didn't put the um, <clears throat> matches in there I got from there, did you? No, I forgot to put the matches in there. I picked up, um, it was like, it was uh, Native noticed... American matchbooks. And I had three sets up. I noticed somebody bought two of the sets. They're all gone, all three sets are all gone. Two, yeah, I, same but... guy bought the same um, two sets yeah. for 15 and the other one went for eight, so I only paid two bucks for the. We did no, I paid a, a, just a whole dollar for the whole thing. Yeah, we did pretty so. good on that yard sale. This thing, I was surprised. I whoops, <clears throat> shot up on me. I didn't even know you had this thing. Yeah, I found this at the Goodwill. It was um, <clears throat> it was six ninety nine at the Goodwill, and I just picked it up. Didn't know what it was, and lucky, you know, you have your eBay. And then I looked it up, and I was pretty surprised that they went for forty bucks. To, what did I sell for? It says forty, 40. up there, but I don't know if you took the no, offer I took, on it. No, I think I got it. I sold it for thirty-five. Thirty-five. That's still not bad. Yeah, for seven-dollar buck. Yeah, that's actually so really good. So when you need your phone when you're doing these things, because a lot of things you don't know are worth money. You yeah. know, some things will surprise you. you Should've seen us at Ross today. <laughs> I was doing it right in front of the security guard too. I was scanning stuff right as he walked right by me. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, as long as I'm willing to pay your prices, there's nothing wrong with scanning it just to see. Yeah. All right. This next one, um, this one was actually in one of our videos. Yeah. Um, one of our yard sale videos. The lady sold me these boxes of Fuji film for a buck a piece. Um, I had them listed for fifty dollars their best offer, and I think I took a forty dollar offer on them. I think yeah. thirty five or forty for a six dollar. Uh, investment is not bad and then they also paid the shipping on it so this is another thing to look out for is just old film like that this is a 35 millimeter and there's four rolls per box so that was 24 rolls of film right there 
Um, and uh, just so you know, half of that film was expired from back in 2018. But as long as it's kept in a dark room temperature space, it'll be fine. The second it gets open and exposed, it's not going to be any good. So if you're going to do old film, just make sure that it's brand new in the box and you'll be fine. Speaking of film... Um, I got this from a local little thrift store that we got. It was mom. I don't think they're mom and pop. I think they're just. Uh, what are they? Uh, assistance lead. Yeah, assistance lead. Yeah. And they usually just have a bunch of cameras in there, just thrown all around. I saw this one in there. Um, looked it up. There are 110. Usually they go for what? I get 94. I don't remember. Yeah, I got 94. 90. Yeah. Yeah. I got 94. I paid 10 bucks for it. It's not bad. Vintage camera. It's not bad. So this next item I picked up at a yard sale when we were down in Simi Valley or yeah. Oxnard, Oxnard, somewhere down that way. Going to um, I don't think we actually caught it on video, did we? No. I don't think so either, because we were heading from Oxnard to San Diego, uh -huh. and we were just all over the place. Um, it's in one of the. Well, maybe it's not. Like I said, I don't think we caught it on film, but. Um, the lady had a box of these. I think there was like eight of them, eight or ten of them, and she wanted. She was selling them for fifty cents a piece, and then she asked me if I was looking at buying one or if I was going to buy all of them. So I decided to buy all of them. Um, she sold them all to me for four dollars for the box, and so I put them up at fifteen bucks a piece, best offer. They're just little six-inch Coca-Cola menu holders that you can put at the table just to showcase like maybe a soft drink or a dessert or something um i actually took a 12 dollar offer on this one so i'm already up about probably nine or ten bucks already and i still have seven more left i believe of these so i should be in a pretty good spot to make some pretty decent profit off of those uh here's one that i felt was just interesting yeah i got these three for an uh, state sale one of them kind of worked the other ones were um all right but they sat for a while, and I just finally got tired of them, so I just took whatever that came my way. But that just goes to show you, though, like, the little things you wouldn't even think of that are just broken or whatever, just for pieces and parts, and you can yeah. make a few bucks off of them. And he, and he might be a reseller that just fixes lighters, yeah. and he'll fix them up, and then he, he sells them for more. Right. So might just be helping another seller out. Yeah. yeah, this is another one from down in Oxnard. Um, this was actually the first thrift store we went to in Oxnard. Yeah. Um, this one's actually on the video, so if you check out the video, it should be the very first vacation uh, video. I think it's like vacation vlog number one or something. Uh, it's a USC Trojan Cincy electric wax warmer. It's, it was brand new. I paid three ninety nine for it. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I ended up taking a thirty five dollar offer on it, which is not bad for a four dollar item. Um, this is another thing to kind of be aware of is these Scentsy warmers. Um, they actually go for pretty good money. Um, I've picked them up for as, like, as little as 5 bucks in the past and sold them for $50. Um, you just have to look them up, find out which ones have been discontinued. Um, this one I really couldn't find too much on. It didn't seem like there was too many out there, so I kind of took a stab at 45 and then hoped somebody would give me a decent offer, and they did. But it's just one of these things. You just... You know, just be on the lookout for them. When you open the box, like, don't be afraid to open the box and look at them for one thing. When you do, they should all still be wrapped in the plastic. Take the top part off of the um, box. Like, you'll see it's a, uh, it's like the ceramic top of it where you put the wax in. Uh, lift that up, and the main way you can tell if it's brand new is if the light bulb in there is still wrapped up in its original bubble wrap and has not been screwed into the thing. Uh, that's how I believe this one was when I opened it. But this is one of the ones that plugs directly into the wall. It didn't have a cord. So um, the other ones, they have to stand. I have one somewhere around here. But that's just a little something to be on the lookout for with the Scentsy warmers. This one is flipping 101, you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I got this at our local Goodwill in Victorville. I paid... I can't even remember what I paid. I think eight bucks for it. And what I did is, um, it didn't come with a game. And I flipped one of these before for, for, for sixty. And so what I did is I had to go on eBay, and find that game. If you find that game, it's real, 
hard to find that game. It's an expensive game, but to put it with a guitar, and then I sold it for, uh... What did it say? It said... I don't think it was 60. No, it was more than that. It was like 75 or 80. Yeah, I sold it for 70, 75. Yeah. So, these are the guitars you got to look out for. They're yeah. the rare ones that nobody... How much did you have into that total, though? Because you said you bought the game on eBay. I bought the game for 12 It was free shipping. Right, so, so you were about 10. 20 into it almost? Yeah, almost 20 and still sold it for 75 that's still a pretty damn good profit. Yeah. When you think about it. So, look for those rare guitars because they're really... Yeah. Those ones especially because they don't have those anymore. Nope. That was brand new. Yeah. Excuse me. So this one... Did my phone just come off? Yeah, something like that. Uh, YouTube. Yeah, I ain't too worried about it. Um, sorry. This one is a size XL Green Bay Gamblers practice hockey jersey. It has the number six on the back of it. Um, I picked up this jersey and I picked up, there was another one that I picked up because I picked up like I think three or four different hockey jerseys at the same time as a Salvation Army 50% yeah. off sale. They came out to a buck fifty a jersey. One jersey I had to throw away because I didn't realize it was cut in the back. Um, the other jersey I think is still listed. I can't remember. Which. Oh no, I sold the other one already too. Yeah. So I already sold the other one. So I sold two of them now that I paid a buck fifty a piece for. And I sold them both for thirty five bucks a piece. I got my asking price on that one plus they paid the first class shipping on that one. So I made about sixty five dollars after fees um, on two different hockey jerseys that I only paid three bucks total for. So. Make sure you know when your sales are at your local thrift stores. And you know what's weird is we don't normally go into that Salvation Army because it is a bit on the pricey side. Even at 50% off, it's still a bit on the pricey side. So usually we avoided it, and I don't even remember why we decided to go in there that day. Yeah, but bored probably. Luckily for us, we went in there and we were able to pick up some pretty decent stuff. This right here is one of the items that came out of that... Um, out of the cell that we got off <coughs> the box uh, <coughs> excuse me the box of clothes that we got liquidation yeah the liquidation box uh, so there's you know we paid a hundred and something for that box yeah <laughs> so we're slowly getting our money back on it we got 18 for it plus shipping she gave feedback that she loved it when she got it so as long as we're getting good feedback and we're selling these things right so Next is an item I picked up at a Goodwill that I kind of held on to for way too long. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> it's a New York Yankees Heritage Banner. It's a Cooperstown collection. It was brand new. Um, I think I paid four bucks for it. I ended up taking a $20 offer on it just because I was happy to get it sold because I sat on it for so long like an idiot and didn't list it right away, but that was on me. Um... Like I said, I've been pretty busy and haven't really had much time to do much. But usually it's weird what happens is when I finally do clear some time and I list about 10 items, all of a sudden I start selling like crazy. My older items start selling. So that's what I just got to keep pushing myself to do more and more listings so that way more and more stuff will sell. This is another one of these weird, interesting items that Daniel seems to find. This was a Green Bay Packers. Um, it's a... Um, you can turn it into that color, which was green. I mean, yellow. And then if you flip it inside out, it turns to green. And this is a baseball jersey, Packers. Um, I got it for six, five bucks. And I flipped it for 30. Yeah. So, it's one of those nice jerseys that if you don't see those, you don't ever see those baseball yeah. jerseys. And it's double sided. I mean, you can flip it inside out if you want to be, you know, green one or you want it the yeah. yellow one right And it's there. a majestic, so yeah. you know it's a legit brand. Yeah, that's how you know you got a good product. This one is a t-shirt that I picked up for $2. Um, I just sold it recently. It's a Ripple Junction WWE. It's from their um, YouTube channel, Up Up Down Down. It's a video game channel. This is a Seth Rollins three-time Madden champion from back in 2017. Um, I can't remember which thrift store. I think this was out in... Um, 
or was that Lake Elsinore? I think on the way back from San Diego, I think it was out in Lake Elsinore. And then we stopped off at that thrift store. I'm pretty sure it was that one because I got that one and then I got the two Iron Maiden shirts. I think I already sold the one Iron Maiden shirt. But um, this one I ended up taking a $20 offer on it. Like I said, I only paid 2 bucks for it, so I'm flipping it for $20. bucks. Um, it's one of those WWE is one of those brands that it just sells. It's got such a huge following. People just love it. Um, the older WWE shirts, they generally sell the best. Um, so if you find like the older ones, those yeah. ones are what's going to sell the best. They sell fast and they sell for good money. <clears throat> That's the Hemi? That's the Hemi. Um, Daniel's Hemi. This was this one was kind of fun. Um, when I first got this, I paid only 8 bucks for it. And the, the thing was, I was taking a chance on it because the box was open, and I noticed that some of the pieces were out of the original seal package. So I took it home, took a chance on it for eight bucks. I could have sold it even though I could sell it still for parts. Somebody might have needed it for parts. I took it home, and I went through the whole thing. It took about an hour to go through the whole thing to make sure all the parts were there. All the screws, there's little screws in it. I mean, it was fun to go through all of it to make sure it was all there, and then I sold it for I got thirty seven for it. I paid eight, so yeah, you're asking price, huh? Yeah, these um models do sell good. If you can get the get them for cheap, like five to five bucks, you can get at least twenty twenty five for models yeah. if they're still in their package. Say, I would recommend them factory seals. Yeah. Worst case scenario, even if they're not, they don't still have the cellophane, but if you open the box and everything is still in its plastic and hasn't been opened, you'll still be in good shape. Yeah, as long as everything's there and yeah. not peeled off. This is another yard sale find. Um, I picked these up for three bucks for all nine packages of those. Uh, these are extra loud super bang caps. Uh, they're for like little cap guns and cannons and stuff like that that people collect. Um, I picked them up for, excuse me, three bucks for all of them like I said and I listed them and they sold the very next day these were not up on eBay very long um, I believe I took a $20 offer on these I know it says 25 up there but I'm pretty sure I took a $20 offer plus shipping uh, I was just surprised that they even sold as fast as they did because um, yeah. I knew that there's probably a collector's market for them and then they were old like you don't see those very often so I figured it was a win-win and the lady that we got them from, she told me she buys stuff from auctions all the time. So I don't know why, unless she doesn't mess around with small eBay stuff or something. Yeah. Um, this one, this next one is Daniel's, and it was actually fairly recent. Yeah, I got these uh, a couple Saturdays ago. <clears throat> I don't know where this lady go. I don't know if she's probably a reason. She probably goes to those um, liquidations too because she had hats out there for a buck, and these were brand new DCs. She had them for five bucks. And I, I was like, are you, I said, are these for five bucks? She goes, yeah. And I bought a couple of hats for them for a dollar. They were snapback hats. We haven't sold those yet. <laughs> but those. These went for $70. I had them up for 100 Um, She encountered uh, me at 70 What did they say on them, though? Because there was something weird on them. There was, they were just D, DC skater shoes. Yeah, but didn't they say, like. They were just clear in the back. No, like, wasn't there something on the tag or something that said they were, like, um, what was it? I thought it said something on the tongue, like, they were for, like, promotional only or something like no, that. No, no, you're thinking about a hat I had. Oh, okay. I thought that they said it, too. Um, but these are going overseas, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah, like so. Global shipping program. Global shipping, so. I got 70 bucks. Okay. I paid 5 bucks for them. So these last three items are actually stuff that we went in on together. Um, sometimes we do that when there's like a really good deal that we can't pass up. And if it's like a little bit more than what either one of us actually wants to spend, we'll split the cost in half. And this one was in a lot of softball bats that Daniel found at a yard sale. Um, what was it? There was four bats and a bag. Four four um, bats and a bag. The east Two Eastons. And, and two DeMarinis. Two. I it was, oh, was it two? Yeah, two. Yeah. Two were... The other ones are under somewhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, put it, I put it back over there. Oh, okay. But cool. um, this one, I actually took a... I believe it was a $30 offer on this no, one. No, 20 Was it 20 Yeah. Okay, so then it was 20 
Um, so we took a twenty dollar offer on it because we figured we still have the three other bats. We only paid five bucks a bat, so we figured we would just go ahead and recoup our cost right away off the top. Um, this one actually wasn't even up on eBay very long either. Uh -oh. I think this one sold within a couple of days. Um, and again, we used the Mr. Mr. Clean eraser sponge thing, cleaned up the bat really nice, got a lot of the scuffs and everything off of it. Um, and then we just did the listing and it sold for 20 bucks. We got an offer on it fairly quickly. And this one is a uh, DeMarini Crystal Bustos um, fast pitch softball bat. It's 32 inches, 21 ounces. Um, nothing special there. It was just a quick flip. And then we're going to make pretty good profit off of the other three bats that are in there. Um, I have the other ones up for 40 and then I don't know what you're going to list the other yeah, two. Yeah, the other one's probably about 20 to 30 probably. But still, I mean, even if I get 30 for the other one and then you get 20 for the other two, that's $80 pure profit. Yeah. Can't complain there. Um, this next one was another one Daniel picked up at a yard sale. Um, this was at a guy, and I tried to get him down to, um, he wanted it, um, what do you want for this? We paid 10, I think. Yeah. Because you called me. No, 15. Was it 15? Because you yeah, called 15. me. 15. And you're like, he's got this CB radio, it's a Cobra. Yeah. Um, and I didn't even put Cobra in the title, I just put Superstar 120 FM CB radio bundle. Um, the speaker in the on the back of it that you can see, that one usually goes for about 20 bucks by itself. The microphone itself could have gone for another 20 And then the CB radio, not sure what that would have gone for by itself. But I actually ended up taking a best offer of $60, which isn't bad on a $15 purchase. Yeah. I tried to get her down to 10 but he said, nah, I'll throw the speaker in for free. And I said, yeah. okay. No. So, you see where it got and us. That one actually sold fairly quickly. Yeah. Um, unlike the next item that we got up here that we went in on together. <laughs> <laughs> this one has been kind of a headache for us because it's been sitting there. It was sitting there for a while. Yeah, since last summer. It seemed like I we think. were just collecting Nintendo Wii stuff to add to this bundle. It was bigger than this. It was. <laughs> yeah. I mean. It was humongous. Yeah. And nobody wanted it at had, 100. We had to break it apart and sell stuff individually. Yeah, this finally sold. Yeah. After a long time. Uh, but they got a good deal. I yeah, mean, I mean, look at everything that's in there. It's a Nintendo Wii console with controllers. You get the ping pong paddles. There's some games. Yeah, like three controllers. Three controllers. You have all of the connections to connections. hook it up. What did you take for it? Did it actually sell for the 75? Um... I think it did. Yeah, that's not bad. But, I mean, at least it's gone. Yeah. Won't do that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that's going to do it. That's our last item. Um, there was a bunch more, but I didn't want this thing to run forever because we're already at a half an hour. Yeah. Um, but let us know if you like these kind of videos and like knowing what we've sold so maybe it can help you guys out so you know what to look for. Um, and then... You know, let us know what we can do to continue to make these videos, make them what you guys want to see. That way we can keep evolving with you guys. Um, until next time, just keep on flipping. <laughs>